everybody, and welcome to the first video of my Halloween special LP. As you can see, it's a Resident Evil Remake, and this is the GameCube, in case you were confused. So let's, uh, go ahead and start it. I wanted to do that so no one asked me, is this on Wii? No, it's GameCube. Okay. Basically, how this LP is going to work is I'm going to be playing on hard mode. As you can see, I already have one save in hard mode. Um, that is because, well, two. <laughs> one's from a stream, the other one's from, uh, no, wait, I don't want to load that one. Do I? Want to load this one? It was normal. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, real survival mode. No, no, this is ridiculously hard. We'll do this once again. Okay, so how I got it to look like this is I loaded a game I've already completed. So before anyone asks, how'd you get your mini to look like this? And how'd you get this stuff? I beat it. I've beaten this game a thousand times. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to try. I've never beaten it on hard, so let's do it. Resident Evil. TV's causing problems. Alright. We're gonna do Jill. I'll be quiet for the cutscene. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Oh no! The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Safe for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Nom nom nom. <laughs> I could resist.
enter the survival horror. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. It's really weird not hearing Wesker go, crass. <laughs> <laughs> How I hate you, Chris. Alright. Yeah. Playing the game now. Woo! Pick up these ink ribbons. I'm gonna save so I don't have to go through the opening cutscene again. Oh, God. Uh, I'll just save over this one. There we go. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, now, here, if anything, if you guys are going to learn anything from me, I hope you guys learn how to survive in this game. So, first of all, here you have a choice. You can, um, you can get two different cutscenes. It's the same information being told in each cutscene. Jill's animation is just different, and Barry's animation is different. So I'm going to go from this side, because I can't remember what it is on this side. And I'll tell you if it's different. I'm pretty sure it is. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? What? Jill. Yeah. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. That was different. Because in, uh... If you come from the other side, she pats him on the shoulder. She's like, oh, Barry, everything's totally going to be okay. All right. Now we're going to go this way, and we're going to go back and talk to Wesker. Hi, Wesker. Great gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Okay. Sure thing, Wesker. <laughs> sure thing, Wesker. Golly, I hope nothing happens between me and Wesker in which I'm having to have to hang out with him for a long time because I'm under control of him by something. Only reason I know that, what I just said right there, is because I watched some of Heartless's videos of uh, Resident Evil 5. So, there you go. I don't know a lot about it. That and my roommate was like, Hey, is Jill the one here? When he was playing Resident Evil 5, and I was like, No. And he was like, Well, she does in Resident Evil 5. And I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> Got cold feet already? It's not like you. There's a point between me me initiate me initiating all these scenes. It's so I don't have to waste any ammo fighting a zombie. So yeah. But I like Jill with the like I like Jill the way she is in this game, like just her look at how her body looks. Yes, it looks good. And her hair, yeah, I like it. Yeah, because insane people totally look like that. What the hell? We better report this to Wesker. Come on, 
Barry. Let's tell Wesker we found a mystery. Jinkies! Barry, you didn't kill him. It's not like you, Barry. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. All right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, first rules of Resident Evil Remake. Don't talk about Resident Evil Remake. No, I'm just kidding. First rule. Remember how in Resident Evil Director's Cut, when you open this door, it has this neat little animation of the dog coming and, like, coming out your arm, and then she shuts the door, and the dog doesn't get in, but it's really scary? Yeah, don't open this door in, this, in hard mode, because the dogs actually come in here. I don't think they come in in normal, but you never know. Also, a little tidbit of information, you can get two different cutscenes in this room. If you go completely underneath the stairs and come back up and talk to, you know, Barry will initiate, there will be a scene initiated between Barry. Or you can do this. Run up the stairs. Oh, look. Run down the stairs. Should initiate a cutscene with him. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lot big. You'd make better use of it. Since you're the master of unlocking. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. I've only watched one LP of this game, and it wasn't even a whole LP. It was, um, Manga Mixes. LP. She got halfway through the game, which I'm proud of her. <laughs> Though I still think she needs to finish it. Um, but that may never happen. I think if she got a GameCube copy of the game, she could finish it. I mean, I've never tried to play it on the Wii, so I don't know. I know it's very easy to play on the GameCube. Yeah, we'll take the map of the first floor. Thank you. I know it did. Closet door is locked. I'll come back here when I get the key out of the box, because I think I have it. Dagger. Blah. Basically, if I get attacked and I have a dagger, I can stab the zombie with it, but I'm going to try to run away from the zombie. No, Jill. Get up. No, dang it. Wasted a dagger. Oh well. Sword. I'll see you guys in the next